There's a well-known scene in the movie Amadeus where the composer Mozart is accused of writing too many notes. And of course it causes a little bit of consternation and maybe a chuckle because we know that Mozart of all the composers is the one that seems never to write anything superfluous, just exactly what's needed. In this particular sonata in C major, Kirchhoff 545, he's written a slow movement of great simplicity. And it's clear that since it's a teaching sonata, he would give this to a student and expect the student to be able to improvise a little bit upon that theme, especially as there's a repeat at the end of the first section. And when you encounter a repeat, you go back and you repeat the material, but you really shouldn't do it exactly the same way. You really shouldn't do it the exact same way. You really shouldn't do it. Yeah, you get my drift. You're communicating something. You should add. You should embellish, whatever. But what indeed does one add to Mozart in a case where he's written so many beautiful notes, and it seems like if you added one more, it wouldn't work at all? Here's Mozart's original. In the second half of this melody that's coming up, Mozart himself will embellish with the hand of the master and show you what he does. I'll kind of do my own here and see what comes up, see if I can match wits with the great Wolfgang. So far, so good. Let's see what Wolfgang did. I guess he's a little better, huh? Now you know why mere mortals like myself, we stick to playing the 